Yo, what is up, people? Welcome back. My name is Armin Jamali, and today I am going to show you how to make a teleporter hub on Roblox that teleports you to places. So this video is for Elevators of Southern Washington because he's going to make a teleporter hub in Cortex HQ soon this year or maybe next year. So let's get on to it. Go to start a GUI, screen GUI, frame, and then go to size, set the x-axis to one zero, one zero, okay. So then after that, move it up a bit because there will be a gap on the top of the screen and you don't want that. So resize it. All right, there you go. And then after you resize it, you go to the background color. It will be like a color wheel of which color you want. It doesn't matter. I'll go with sky blue. Oh yeah, this background is definitely sky blue. All right, I'm gonna change the border color to that so nothing no corners or sides will be affected so duplicate the screen GUI delete frame and then insert a text button well actually I'm gonna do a text label first saying welcome to the teleport hub so I'm gonna uh, set that to zero, zero, point three, point three. Actually, I'm gonna set this let's see on a sample of this the iPhone 4s okay there we go I just needed to resize it so you're going to resize it like this so you can get the frame the whole frame of it so then you can rename the text to um, welcome to I mean the teleporter hub choose which HQ you want to go to. So, no spelling errors, okay? I just needed to check, just in case. So, I'm going to get the background color, paste in there border color this I'm going to make huh where is it got them bold there we go and I think this is a perfect text size of a teleport hub greeting so I'm going to add another screen GUI I'm not gonna take long text button move it up here and you can make any type of button so for the HQs I'm going to add there's going to be three options Quest Corp HQ Cortex Elevators HQ and the Anti Kirk Time HQ these are the actual game IDs so I'm going to go back to text button Where's text? Got them bold. So for the first button, I'm going to name it to Quest Corp HQ. There. And I'm going to change the background color. Wait, I forgot to 
turn off the offset. Zero. There. That should be perfect. And I'm gonna set whoops. There. That should be perfect. Well actually no. I'm gonna Huh, it takes very long. Yes, that must fit. Uh, sorry if it's too small. Um, but that's how I want to make it. Well, actually, no. It's actually not wrong. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. One fifty six, one fifty six. There we go. Huh, I don't know how to make this thing. Well, actually, yeah, I actually can. 132 times 132. I'm just going to do that. So, I'm going to fit it right here. Actually, it's it takes lots of math to do this. Okay. Yes. So, you know what? Let's just do this. I'm not going to take too long. Set border color. Whoops. Set border color. Uh, background color. You actually can change the text function. Gonna get out of emulator mode. Well, you know what? Yeah. Let's just go with the one I want. So I'm gonna insert a local script. Alright, script dot parent dot text button dot mouse button one click colon connect. And then function, and then game colon get service, teleport service, and then colon teleport. I'm gonna get the game ID for Quest Corp HQ. Teleport, comma, game, dot, players, dot, whoops, local player, and then, there you have it. There are the buns you have. Well, actually, here's the thing. Most people use iPhone 6s and 6 Pluses. So, actually, nobody use iPhone that are a 4S model. Because that's... It's no longer uh, supported on that, I think. 
So, you know what? I actually think it's a good idea to do that. It's very nice, by the way. I'm going to change its text size to 20. And then there it is. So I think that's good. All right, you know what? I'm going to change the text button border to gray, gray color, border color 3. Scroll with the color wheel. That's a perfect square button. So I think that's a very nice idea to try to do this. So duplicate the screen GUI, move text button to the middle, and then I'm gonna rename this to Cortex HQ. Yes, Cortex Elvis HQ. Yes, that's perfect. I think iPhone 4S no longer supports Roblox. Or maybe Roblox doesn't support iPhone 4S. So, you know what? I think it's a good idea to oversize it. Very cool. And I'm going to go back to the local script. Get the game ID for Cortex HQ. And then, yeah. So, let's go back and duplicate the screen GUI. Move the text button. Wait, how many? Oh, 38. There we go. Now I'm going to do it for the anti Kirk time HQ. So, anti Kirk time HQ it is. And I'm going to rename this to anti Kirk time HQ. All right, let's see how it is. Oh. I think it needs to get closer. 71. It's hard to make GYs. You probably know that. You can add as many buns as you want, like which HQ you want to go, the Quest Corp HQ, the Cortex Alvarez HQ, the Anti-Kirk Time HQ, or maybe the Oak Lake mini offices. Like the one. And yeah. So let's test it out. Also, please make sure to note this. It's only going to work in um it's going to work only in game, not studio. Alright, let's see. Yes, it's balanced. Okay. So I'm gonna publish the Game to Roblox. Alright. Let's go back to the testing dev place. Here it is. Here's the testing dev place. And then there's the teleport hub. Of which HQ you want to go to, Quest Corp HQ, Cortex Elvis HQ, or Anti Kirk Time HQ. So let's test out Anti, I mean Quest Corp HQ. And then there's the Quest Corp HQ. And there it is. There's the nice atrium, nice grass, nice lobby elevator. And let's go out. to the next HQ which is the um which is the uh Cortex HQ. So this is the teleport hub Cortex HQ. Okay, I had to mute the music because I didn't want to get a copyright strike or a copyright notification. Sorry. 
So there's Cortex HQ itself. And yeah, let's get out of this HQ and go to the Anti Kirk HQ. Alright, Anti Kirk Time HQ is very laggy. If you turn your graphics down, it won't lag for you. Unless if you're on a low powered computer. Mine has a high powered it's a high powered device. Alright, let's go to Anti Kirk Time HQ. It takes a while to teleport you, so please be patient. Let's prepare for the teleport to occur. And there we go. Here we are, Anti Kirk Time HQ. It takes a while to start up, as you may know. There's the wanted stand. One time during the party, well, after the party that I did, that I hosted, someone changed the names with B tools. So, yeah, the teleport was successful. So, I hope this video found you helpful. If it did, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you guys later. I think it all waved. I think it all waved. And peace.